there's a new version of Final Cut Pro out, 10.6. I've been using 10.5.4, but this new version has object tracking. Well, we're going to see how we can use object tracking in our 2D animations on today's episode of the Expat Animator. So I'm going to go ahead and update Final Cut Pro here. And you'll see it's 3.2 gigabytes, so it's going to take a little bit. So I'll come back when it's fully updated. Okay, so let's go ahead and open Final Cut Pro. So you can see we've got the object tracker is a new feature, cinematic mode, and optimized for the MacBook Pro, uh, which I don't have. Uh, so anyway, um, let's go ahead and just continue. So I'm just going to open up a project I've created here to do a test with the motion tracking. And what I want to do is I'm going to need to create something to track the motion. So let's go into Affinity Photo, which is a program I like to use, and let's create that. So what I'm going to do, this is going to be a little trick that I use for animation, especially for motion tracking. So let's just create a 1080p sized image. And then what I want to do is I'm going to create a shape. And that shape is just going to be a rectangle. And I'm going to give it the RGB settings of 0, 177, and 63. And those are good numbers uh, to get a good green screen green color. So now that I've got that, here's the trick that I like to do. We're going to go ahead and go into full screen. And then I'm going to hit the tab key on my keyboard. And when I hit that, all of my palettes go away. And I'm just gonna zoom in so it's full screen. And I've still got these little bars on the side, but that's okay. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use my mouse here. I'm just gonna do some motion around the screen here that we're gonna record. And I'm gonna take that video of my mouse moving around on the green screen. And we're gonna use that to track within Final Cut Pro. So let me just do that real quick here. And the way you want to record that uh, is possibly you can use QuickTime. And we're just going to do new screen recordings. Let's do record selected portion of the screen. And that's a good representation of 1080p. So let's go ahead and hit record. And then I'm going to switch back over to Infinity Photo. And this is what it's going to record. So I'm just going to start here and just do some figure eights with my mouse here. And that's going to give the software something to track. There we go. So that should be good enough. Um, so let's go ahead and stop that QuickTime recording. So this is what we get as end result. And if we hit Command T for trim, then we can just trim out the portions that we don't need here until I start with the figure eight, which is gonna be right around there. And then I'll trim the end so that it ends in the center right about there. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that as a QuickTime movie. And I'll just call this a uh, green screen. Okay. So now that we've got that, we can go back into Final Cut Pro and I'm going to import that green screen file from my desktop and bring that in to my timeline. So now you can actually see the mouse uh, doing the figure eights on the screen here. So the next thing that we want to do is I want to bring in something that's animated and then we're going to motion track that to this mouse that we've got on the green screen. So if I've got my green screen clip uh, selected here, I want to come over here to my video inspector and at the very bottom, you're going to see trackers. So let's go ahead and hit this plus sign. And it's going to give us this grid and we want the grid to be over our mouse because that's what moves around on the screen. So I'm going to move that over there and then I'm going to start using these points to bring this down. And I'm going to actually zoom in here because it's important to have this 
tracking pretty accurately on our mouse. So now if I hit analyze, it's going to track this throughout the clip. So I'll let that finish up. And then if I come back here and uh, zoom out, and if I hit play, you're not gonna see the tracking moving, but if you scrub, you're gonna see the tracker moving. And it looks pretty good. Doing good all the way, doing my figure eights here. And sometimes it, uh, I've seen this where it kind of loses it, so you might wanna just, that's looking pretty good. And now, as you'll notice, that was a good track the first time through. I've got this set to automatic, and there's a couple of other options here. Automatic's been working for me so far. Um, and when I have that tracked, it's automatically called object track. I'm just gonna name this something else so that I can remember what this is. So I'm gonna call this mouse track because it's tracking my mouse. And that is gonna help me uh, in a second here. So let's go ahead and bring in our animation that we want to track with that motion. And so I've got a bat that I animated in Rough Animator, and I'll just play this real quick. And it's just a looping animation of uh, the bat flapping its wings. So I'm gonna drag that down, and then I'm gonna crop it back to the time of the clip underneath. Now, a couple things I wanna do here. One is I want to knock out the green of the background of this animation. So I'm just gonna drop my keyer onto that and it knocks it out. Now, you're gonna still see the green if you're up here though because we're seeing the green underneath it and we're gonna take care of that in a second. Now the next thing I wanna do is I need to scale down my bat here. So make sure you've got the clip selected. We're gonna scale it down maybe around 50% or so. And now, the ne here's the next trick here, is we wanna hit this transform button, either here or over here. And when we do that with our clip selected, now we get this thing up here that's new. And you'll see on the right here, we've got tracker. Now I don't need to hit tracker yet, but what I can do is hit this little down arrow. And remember I named the uh, tracking mouse track. So I know that that's what I wanna select. And now that I've done that, I should be able to play this and watch the bat move around the screen in that figure eight motion. So let's go ahead and just play some of that. And that's working. Now you'll notice if I zoom in here, the mouse is over here and we don't really wanna see the mouse. So what I forgot to do is we need to just take the center and place it right on top of the of the mouse so that we're not going to see that as the animation occurs. So let's try that again. And now what we've got is we've got our animation of the bat following the path of the figure eight that we created earlier in QuickTime. Now we could be done there because that's how the new tracking in Final Cut Pro works, but I'm gonna do a couple more things here just to give us a finalized clip for Halloween. So I wanna go back and select a green screen and I'm gonna key that out as well. So now what we've got is just the bat flying over a black background. And up here in our titles and generators, I've got a pack of backgrounds that I bought from Pixel Film Studios and this specific pack is called Final Cut Pro Backdrop Mega Pack. So if I come up here to the search and I search for Halloween, a bunch of backdrops uh, are provided in this package and they're animated. So I can just basically come here and grab a background and drop that underneath what I've got here. So let me just clip that background to the length of our project. And if I were to play this right now, I just needed to render a little bit, but there you go. It seems to be working pretty good here. And we've basically just created a little animated clip of our bat flying around in a Halloween background. And there's some other options of cool backgrounds that we could use. 
So here's a cool one. Let me just drag and drop that onto that clip. And I'm going to pick replace with retime to fit. And then I get the same timing on that clip. And let's give it a second to render. And then I'm just going to hit play. And it's basically the same thing. So that's a quick and easy way to add some animation with a motion path in the new Final Cut Pro tracking feature. So overall, I'm very happy with this new feature in Final Cut Pro, and it's been working pretty good for me. Uh, just remember to keep that tracking uh, pretty dialed in and close to the size of your mouse. Uh, otherwise, it'll lose the track and you kind of have to either start over or fix or, or go in and keyframe and fix it. I would just delete it. And let me show you how to do that real quick. If we come down here to the trackers, you here's the, tr the um, clip that we've got tracked. And I come down. So you can see right here under trackers, there's the mouse track highlighted in yellow that we've created. I can click on this little triangle right here and I can delete that tracker. And I would delete it and then just hit the plus and do it again. And I've had the experience of it tracking better just by doing it over again. But again, I haven't used these other options. Uh, Automatic has been working good for me so far. So hopefully you enjoyed that tip about motion tracking in the new Final Cut Pro 10.6. Remember, there's nothing wrong with using a video editor when you're working on your animations. You don't have to keep everything in your animation program. And I actually recommend not just using an animation software. It helps to add to your animation tools to use a video editor like Final Cut Pro so that you can leverage the abilities of a video editor. There's a lot of tricks in there that are not that may not be included in your animation program. My name is Patrick Davidson. This has been another episode of the Expat Animator. Thanks for joining me today. Have a happy Halloween, and I'll see you next time. If you found today's video helpful, you might like some of my animation classes over at Skillshare.com. I'll put the link in the description below.